welcome to Tokyo Bus Driver 2. The second option is to load up my data, so going there. The to top is for driving a route. The second option is for mission mode. When I drive a route right now. The second option here is the tutorial. There's three routes available to start with, and as you complete them, you gain additional times of day that you can drive, uh, which apparently increase the challenge somewhat. I haven't driven the second route at all, though I finished the first and the third. So I'm going to start with that one. I have no idea going in what it's going to be like. And hopefully it'll be comedically awful. Two different types of buses to choose from. I don't know the difference between them. I do know that the top option's manual and the bottom... Or excuse me, the top option's automatic and the bottom option's manual. Now this game works on a penalty system. Uh, the blue bar in the lower left is how many points I have, and if that runs out, then I get a game over. And if I do something wrong, it goes away, and I get points back for passing a bus stop successfully. I just accelerated too hard for everyone and threw the passengers around, so that was minus five points. The lower right, the number in the circle is the speed limit. It's currently 30 kilometers per hour. You have to manually activate the bus announcements before you get too close to the next stop. And if you fail to do so, it's yet another penalty. The accelerator is uh, handled by the pressure sensitivity on the trigger button, on the R1. And that does give it a bit of a rough feel. The engine will stall out if I leave it uh, sitting at the intersection, like it just did. And you do have to use your turn signals, otherwise you get a penalty. Time limit uh, is not really restrictive. If you go the speed limit most of the route, you will easily go between stops within your time limit. See, the next stop's coming up in just 200 meters, so... If I hadn't given the announcement for the next stop by now, I would have received a penalty. We should see it on the left coming up. There it is. And no one has signaled a stop. There's no one waiting there, so I get to just go past it. If someone had signaled a stop, the light in the lower left would have lit up. Uh, you can see it's kind of a dull blue-red box. If I press up on the right analog stick, I can look in front of the bus, and, which is helpful if you need to position yourself very closely. Since I didn't stop, I only received 10 points for that. If I had dropped people off, I would have gotten uh, 20. Uh, the same thing for the rear of the bus by pressing down on the analog stick. There's five different camera modes, but this zoomed out external view is the best one I've found for navigating.
sometimes these root markers, the orange arrows on the ground, sneak up on you. If you're in the far left-hand lane and suddenly you realize you need to make a right-hand turn, you could be in trouble pretty quick. Oh, we have people waiting at the bus stop. So I pull in, I have to signal that I'm going to stop, and open the doors. Signal that I'm pulling out, close the doors, and I'm ready to drive off. You do need to follow Japanese traffic laws in this game, uh, so sometimes there will be stops marked on the ground that are difficult to make out. The routes themselves are actually pretty long. It took me maybe 40 minutes to play through the longest of the three routes that were initially available. I'm not sure if there's any further ones. Drivers can be a bit of a problem. They do tend to act like maniacs cutting off the bus suddenly, swerving into it, which gives you a penalty, of course. You can drive the route the other way uh, after you've completed in one direction. So the bus stops, you'll occasionally see bus stops on the other side. I got a penalty there for not playing the announcement because the next stop was really close to the previous one. And I've found that not all the intersections allow you to make left-hand turns on red, so I'm just stopping. Oh no, he's run out in front of me! I'll continue from the last stop, but since uh, I've been driving too well, let me show you the penalties. Oh, didn't signal as I drove, drove off too quickly, cut across the line, went through a red light, and then hit somebody. Hitting an object doesn't instantly end uh, your game, but uh, as long as you don't hit it too quickly. I think I'm going to drive down the wrong side of the street this time. Perhaps I will just go through the intersection. As far as I can tell, there's no penalty for blaring your horn at everybody. Let's go to another part of Tokyo. I think I know a shortcut. Or not. on the correct side of the street this time, as I should be.
Forget this, now I'm going to try to drive backward. Or hit the curb. into the first person view to continue on here. I do have mirrors that will help, but they don't really give you much view. And I hit the curb because I couldn't even see it. That's enough of this. I'm also going to show part of the mission mode really quick. That's how much of the route I did. And I am not saving that score. So let's try to park the bus in a narrow space. I can't even pull out of my own driveway in this kind of space, so let's see how I do with a bus. Not very well, apparently. 